hello and welcome. So today what we're going to be doing is a how-to video on GIMP for the uh, special layers that came out. Now uh, there's uh, quite a few videos out there right now about how to do it on Photoshop. I don't have Photoshop so I messed around with GIMP for a while and then once I figured it out told a few people and uh, it's still kind of confusing so I'm going to go ahead and just show you a quick walkthrough on it. Uh, pretty basic. I still am uh, trying to figure out the rest of it, but uh, you guys can figure it out once you understand how to do it. So the video or the image you're looking at right now is like just a basic scheme that's constantly on trading paints. Uh, in order to mess with this, you can you know do it a different way so you don't have to always upload the trading paints. So that's the route I'm going to take. Um, there's plenty of videos out there on how to do this stuff. So, uh, yeah, let's get to it real quick. So, we're going to go ahead and get into GIMP. Now, we're going to open a car that I was going to run, but things have changed. So, I need to change the times and update the paint. So, this is what I was going to run. Um, it's already done ready to export when I create stuff I don't flatten it down so I just export this to uh, trading paints and then it loads in like the car that you just seen. So in order to show you this I'm gonna have to merge these layers down and I'm not big into like doing a whole bunch of stuff for the videos so uh, just bear with me through this part. So now this is the old one like before the update so it doesn't have that green layer alright. So what we need to do is, uh, let's just go ahead and cut this. So we have that part of the paint. And then we'll close this because we don't need it. We're going to open up the new file. Alright, it's going to automatically convert over. That's just the way I have it set up. So now we have the new uh, template with the green, okay? But before we get into the green, we're going to scroll down and delete this. I don't like it. And then the base, go ahead and paste this into it. And now we're gonna have to drag it to adjust it just a little bit, a biggie. My uh, computer's super slow right now. Doesn't like what I'm doing. Alright, so that's basically it. Alright. Go ahead and deselect it. And then uh, let's go ahead and export this. We're gonna export as our documents, iRacing. Go down to the paint. And look, the Mustang. We're gonna Go ahead and place that. Export. And we're going to flip the eye racing. Control R. And it loaded in. So we have our basic paint scheme. No, nothing. So now, real quick, these stickers, you're going to have to individually cut these stickers out or move them up. To not have them with effects. Same with your logos. Like you're gonna have to play with that. I'm still playing with it, so I'm just showing you real quick how to make the white into chrome if that's what you're looking for. Or let's say you want the black to be mate. That's all this video is gonna show. So we're gonna go ahead and flip back over to GIMP. And we're going to come up here to this green layer. We're going to turn it on. We're going to blow every one of these tabs up. Right? So now, the parts, I don't want those. Like, I don't care about them right now. I'm just showing the basic. Shut off the blue and the alpha. They're not needed for this. And then we have a green channel and a red channel. 
The red channel is the metallic and chrome. The green channel is the flat or the roughness. All right, we're going to shut the green channel off because we don't want to talk about it right now. We're going to go into the red channel. We're going to select this. And then we're going to, in here, you have this color wheel, right? You want to go all the way to the red. And take this top right. So you have a red red. Dump it in there. File. Export as. This middle number here for the number. If you're a Trading Paints Pro member, you know what that does. This keeps the number off the car. And type in spec. Export it. So now this is exporting into my PC. On Trading Paints, there's a drop down for it. They have a walkthrough on how to do it. You'll be able to put in your, your custom thing there. Now we're going to flip back to iRacing. Control R. Uh, everything turned chrome. Black is like a shiniest gloss black ever. The white turned chrome. It, it, everything's chrome. Okay, even the decals. So like the decals, if we didn't want them to be chrome, you'd have to put them on top of that layer, I'm pretty sure. But that's speculation right now. Oh, we don't want to speculate. So let's go ahead and shut this off. Let's say we want... Oh, I did it again. All right, so I'm still learning here, guys. I'm sorry. Turn this back on. All right, so we're back in GIMP. Uh... We want to shut this, not that, shut this off real quick, alright, so now let's say we want all the black to be flat, which would be the hood, the roof, doors, and the trunk, bumper, right? Alright, come down here to our base, select the uh, select all tool, click everything that's black, you might have to individually click, or let's say you wanted to just cut out a certain section, you can do that. Come up and select your red okay turn it back on so now you have this overlay of everything that you cut and you're only going to cut out of this layer erase erase everything that you don't want right and you can probably blow this up so it goes a lot quicker uh, just snip it cut it off you don't need it right so now we're going to go ahead and Deselect this. Leave the red up. It doesn't matter for this instance. Turn on your green channel. The base color here. We're going to go ahead and flip this wheel over. And again, you want to get right smack dab in the green. All the way to the right and the top for the green. Dump it. Alright, so now everything that's green is going to be flat. And everything that's red is going to be chrome. Alright. File, export to that spec, paint, and then we're going to go into iRacing, roll R. Now, the black is like flat, flat black, alright? If you don't want to not see the lines in the car, I'll show you how to fix it, alright? So, we'll leave that so you can get a before and after, alright? Remember this time. Back to GIMP. Now this layer, opposed to coming into this picker and trying to find a different hue, all you gotta do is take the opacity down. Say we want to do like 36, just go with 40, just to show the difference. Alright, we're gonna export it to the spec again. Alright. I'm back into iRacing. Control R. Look at that. That looks a lot better, right? Now, mind you, the decals are changing too, okay? You're going to have to take that into account and figure out how to get those on top of that layer. Or cut them out individually. It could take a while. So now we have a flat color for the black. And then we still have this, like, chrome, right? Let's say we wanted the... Chrome not to be so chrome, like a metallic, right? Well, how do you do that? Real simple. Come back into GIMP. Select your red right here. 
right? Everything that's red. Drop the opacity down. Go uh, 50. All right. So now we're starting to get in a metallic spectrum. File, export to the spec. All right. Then we're going to go back into iRacing. Control R to refresh that. Now we have metallic and flat. All right. That's the easiest, simplest way to get this done. Um, if you ask me, this is a lot better than Photoshop. So as of right now in December, this is the quickest way to do this, in my opinion. Now, with that being said, um, like if you wanted a chrome here and like, you know, metallic there, you're going to have to select this and literally paint it the dark red. So in order to do that, we're going to flip back into GIMP, and then I'm just going to add a layer, right? doesn't matter what it's called, right? Let's say this right here. All right, let's go down and select it. Cut this off real quick. Now let's just go ahead and select that. Hold Shift, select that. Uh, all right, so let's say we want this to be chrome and this to be uh, like silver, right? First thing I want to do is I want to remove this. So I'm going to erase the red that's already here, okay? Don't worry about the overlay, it doesn't really matter. And then we're going to come into this new layer, flip back to the red. Let's just paint it in real quick. Okay. So now the fender and the hood are going to be chrome and this should be like metallic, right? Select off of that. I'll export the spec. Come back into iRacing. Control R. That worked. Now this, I forgot to click the bumper, okay? So in GIMP, for instance, this part up here is still the same as everything else, but at least you can see what I'm talking about with how easy this is to flip back and forth, right? So you have paint, chrome, paint, right? So that's the easiest way to get chrome. If you do uh, like red, for instance, it'll show red. Now let's say that, well, let's use that for an example real quick. So we have Chrome here, right? Let's go ahead, flip back in, all right? We're gonna shut this layer off and then come down to the base. Let's say we want like that type of a red. I uh, definitely want to select that. And we're going to paint that red. Right? Now, the spec map is already in the service. Like, it's already running on the computer. It's always going to be there. So, all I have to do is take this color, change the color where I want it to, right? As long as I don't change the lines, I don't have a problem. Uh, now that's red, I'm going to file export as back to the car number, place it, and export it. Now we're going to go into iRacing again, control R. So now this is now a red chrome, right? Yep. That's how you change that. Now, if you start messing with lines on your base paint, you have to adjust the spec map. So now, let's say, real quick, all right, uh, let's go back to the display capture for this. So this is my spec map, right? I have to delete both of these 
if I start changing stuff around. Otherwise, okay. Otherwise, what will happen is the spec map that's on the car is layered to everything that's on the car right now, right? So let's go select iRacing only. We're going to come back here, right? Now, if I if I open Trading Paints, Trading Paints is going to automatically download the paint that's on their service, which is that car that loaded up in the beginning. Any moment, this car should flip back over, which it just did. So now, if the spec map is still on your computer, it overlays everything. You can see the outline of that previous paint scheme. So you have to adjust that accordingly, otherwise you end up with this, and it still looks kind of cool, but you're going to notice it, right? So in order to get that away from there, you have to go in your file, documents, iRacing, you have to come down in the paint, down in your cup car, you have to delete the spec, alright? And then you can go back into iRacing, control R, and your car is back to normal. So keep that in mind when you're changing stuff, but that's the easiest way to get a Chrome car. And uh, I hope that helped you. And I hope to see you on the track. Keep it clean, keep it green. Have a good one, guys.